What's up everyone, we're here at K&J Tackle in Jamestown, North Carolina. Just arrived, we're gonna go ahead inside and see what they got. Hello, how are y'all? Good. All right, so this place is packed. We're gonna check out, Dave makes a lot of jigs. Um, that's probably what spinner baits. Yeah, he makes a lot of soft plastics, jigs. Um, I think that's really the majority of what he makes, but in this store he has swim baits, Freaking, we just show them that wall? Yeah, just look at this. All freaking just soft plastics. For Dave. Freaking, this is Dave stuff right here. We got, Dave umbrella, we got umbrella rigs. We've got everything. There's rods, reels, freaking, there's tags. Taxidermy. Oh, just everything you could ever want. So we, I'm getting some swim baits. What are you doing? I'm probably gonna get a couple jigs, some trailers. I need, a, I need a new white frog. True. All right. Frog. We're going to show you guys what we pick out. See ya at the cash Oh, snap. You can test the Ethan's going to test out. Is that a Dave jig? Oh, for sure. It's got to be. I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> Now stop it. So when you stop a jig, look how those tentacles just spread all the way out. That, that's like, it's like so just they crawl together. looking. And they spread out again. Oh my gosh. And then you see that, that trailer yeah, just, right just now, fluttering yeah. a little bit. Yeah, if you're... Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool that you can come in here and test this stuff. Yeah. Oh, um, oh. Separated at birth. Brother. All right, thank you guys for coming in. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, successful trip, K and J's. Definitely, if you guys are from North Carolina, we're an hour away from here, and it was a trip that we do not regret at all. That was no. freaking sick. They have everything, um, and if you're lucky enough, you might run into Dave uh, here. Dave's tournament tackle. Or if you search Dave's tackle, you might go to his house. Don't go to, don't search Dave's term tackle. Yeah, don't go to his house. Google, search do search uh, K and J or whatever. K and J. Yeah. Listen, guys, we hope you enjoyed uh, this little shopping thing. We're gonna take these back to the crib now. We'll show you when we get there. Show you everything we got. Tie up. Maybe go fishing. Maybe maybe just throw them around and see. Uh, we can get a little a little bitey bite action. Yeah. So we'll see you at the crib. Peace. What's up, guys? Just cut back. Let's go uh, for you guys right now. We're about to go review these lures that we got, tie them on, show you how we rig them, and then hopefully just go toss them around real quick. Maybe you can get on the kayaks. Yeah. All right, gang. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we got. Oh my gosh. We got some Listen. stuff for you today. Listen. Hudson's I'm just gonna, cooler. I'm just gonna, <laughs> yeah, well, I got some big baits. Ethan's got some more of that. I want stuff I, like, da daily throwers time yeah. kind of stuff. Let me just start out with a little bit of a 6.8 inch Ghost Rainbow Kitech. Let me open these bad boys up. Yes. Oh. We throw on our swim jigs, typically we throw, um, well, typically I throw a 4.5 inch which is pretty big, and uh, with a slim jig, that's a pretty big profile. But uh, I'm going up to yeah, a that's... six point eight incher right there. Look at that. I got a lot. I'm jealous about that. A little bit, huh? Well, no, not even a little. A lot, a lot of it. That strong squid smell. Yeah, no, that's nice. And on this Kitech, I will be using some Dave's tournament tackle, uh, swim jig, swim jig heads. Now that Kitech actually doesn't look like it's gonna fall apart. Yeah, yeah. See, it feels it's a lot thicker, like strong stronger material. But so it's, hopefully it still it'll, swims good. Oh though. well, I, I assume yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's still like I mean you can see it drop down like that. It's still pretty flexible, but it's a lot thicker and it seems more durable. And I got these big old three eighths ounce uh, swim jig hooks. Yeah. Which I like these because they they look like. They'll have these little prongs like that. They'll hold the lure in place pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and rig one of these up. Place you tying up, I got this uh, black and blue swim jig at Dave's Tournament Tackle. Um, High Rock's really dirty, so sometimes the dark colors pretty nice to use. 
I got these nice Zoom Cross as a trailer, which doesn't, it's not really normal. The like Cross, like a swim jig trailer. Yeah. But we're using them yesterday. Tactical Bassin? No. Lunkers. No. Lunkers? Lunkers was doing it and it was working. So. Yeah, yesterday I caught a 6.2 pounder using a uh, swim jig with a speed crawl and just swimming it just like a swim jig. Which you can see on our Instagram. Yep. And uh, uh, shout out to Lunkers because I would definitely not have thrown that that swim jig with a crawl trailer and just swam it like a regular swim jig if it wasn't for Lunkers because I yep. saw his video where he was tearing him up on that. Yeah, so I'm going to do the same. You're not up? Yeah. All right. And for my, uh, for my setup for this, it's not ideal. I'm still waiting on uh, getting a, a real swim swim bait rod. So for an I ideal swim bait rod, I'd like something upwards of seven eight. Um, probably no more than like eight two or something like that. I mean, like an eight foot rod would probably be a perfect swim bait rod. Can you get things under control? What are you doing? <laughs> well, um, I would I would throw swim bait like big swim baits like this probably on like an eight foot heavy rod um and uh well these aren't really like the big swim baits but um i'd still go with something like a six to three one gear ratio um and contrary to what everything i just said i'm throwing it on a seven four uh corrado and a seven three medium heavy rod so not really the ideal setup but i do have my heavy rod and that's what i'm going to throw uh some of these like bigger fatter ones on but this Corrado is just the goat, so I'm going to throw it on that for right now. Yeah. And for line... Oh, there's a hummingbird. Oh, probably can't see it. And uh, for line, I like to use, for my big swim baits, which I'm also not doing right now, I like to throw it on some heavy braid, like 65-pound braid, with a, like, maybe foot, two foot, three foot at most, um, fluorocarbon leader. Um, I use a, I, I use a double uni knot, that's just what I use, and, um, but I've also heard that a blood knot is a really great connector knot for a braid to fluorocarbon. Yeah. So, let's see, got the hook tied on, now I'm gonna get this Kitech paired up. Is that about right there? And whenever I'm putting on some, some swim baits or anything like a worm or whatever, I always like to line it up first so I don't put the hook in like the wrong spot and then have to re-hook it and everything and tear the bait up a little bit more. So yeah. I like to just, uh, on the outside, look at where that hook's going to come out, hold my, hold my finger there, and then just work, my, work that hook through there and pop it out where I have my finger. Yeah. Got that black and blue crawl black and blue swim jig. These, what, what, what were these? Ultra Vibe Speed Crawl. The freaking claws on these just flutter so good in the water. Hopefully those will work. But yeah. And there you have it. The thing I'm hoping about these swim jigs is the problem in the past, uh, the ones that we used to get from Dave's, were uh, the weed guard was always kind of not stiff enough. <laughs> what are you talking about? Look at this. That's sexy. Am I right? Yeah. Oh, go, 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 go. The weed guard were, uh, they weren't stiff enough and you'd get hung up and their hooks were, uh, they were more of a light wire. So today I got like a thicker weed guard and a thicker hook. Hopefully they won't bend as easily when I get hung up. Let me just do a quick little size comparison for you guys. This is the swim, the kind of take I was throwing yesterday. And this is what I'll be throwing today. <laughs> yeah, that's the big difference. Like, look, at, it's just so much thicker and just so freaking huge. Rigged up right there. And again, eight foot rod, six three reel, probably would be my ideal setup for a lure like this um, with 65 pound braid leading to about 20 pound fluorocarbon. That'd be my ideal setup. I don't have that right now, so I'm throwing it on a 7.3 medium heavy 
all floor bar. So I mean, even if you guys don't have a big swim bait rod with a freaking 5.3 Calcutta, like you don't need that stuff to throw swim baits. It makes it a lot easier and um, you might be able to get some more hookups. But really, I think that this will do it. I've caught six, seven pound fish on this rod. Um, so I don't see why I couldn't catch a 10, 15 pounder on this rod. Yeah. And that's really what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for a 10 pounder. Who gets them? <laughs> so for my next purchase here at Dave's trying to tackle, which one should I go with, the tremor or the booty shaker? Mm, booty shaker. All right, Janko Fishing Booty Shaker. If you guys have not picked up on the trend, I'm going big swim baits. That's my new thing. Yeah. I was a jig fisherman. I was a worm fisherman. I was into cranking for a little bit. Now, my new thing, big swim baits. And um, I have a couple of the hard body ones, but I think the reason I like these soft plastic swim baits, and I've had a couple before, of the, like some big ones, but now I'm really gonna start getting some really cool swim baits. Um, the thing I like about these soft plastic ones, you can break them weedless. So with a hard body um, swim bait, a lot of times you got treble hooks on them and, uh, and their treble hooks are hanging off on the bottom. And if you're like me, and you can't buy four $50 freaking swim baits, uh, you can't lose that one $50 one that you have. So I like these because you can get this three pack of booty shakers was 12 bucks. Three pack of the Kytex was 10 bucks. And my next purchase, the Tremor Shad, these were nine bucks for three. And um, I've never used either one of these I do have a Janko hard body jointed swim bait and I like that thing a lot and um, I've heard that these Janko booty shakers and the tremor tre tremor shad whatever that is hot trend right now. hot trends yeah so normally you guys you guys have all seen these big paddle tail swim baits but um this new thing that I've seen a few of but I have never personally used, or I don't even know anyone that uses them personally. This little, uh, this tail, there's there's no paddle. There's no, it's not a fluke. It's not split or anything like that. It's just one solid, really flimsy piece of plastic. I mean, look at that. I'm not, I haven't moved it. It's still moving. Yeah. So that's why I think it might work. But I've heard that these have been doing real good, and um, you guys can tell I went all three shad colors. Yeah. We're here on beautiful high rock, and um, shad is just what these bass primarily eat on. Yeah. What's you rigging up? Uh, well, I'm in the swim jig kind of mood, so I got this red bleeding craw swim jig. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to match it with this missile watermelon. Watermelon? Watermelon red. And it's it's a craw, but, I mean, look at the tails on that. That's just going to swim good and I know it does it's green matches the green has a little red sparks sparks sparkles sparkle and well, yeah sparkle. I just knew that would look good so that's what I'm pairing up on this bad boy all right so now I'm gonna throw on this tremor shad because I got the content rigged up unfortunately won't be throwing the booty shaker just yet um, because I have a Kitek and I'll throw that after I throw the Kitek but um, I want to see how this tremor shad looks in the water. And I'm bringing this one up on probably more of my heavier, well, definitely my heavier setup. I normally use this for frogging. This is a 7.4 heavy Daiwa rod. This rod is absolutely sick. Um, first day I got it, first fish I caught on it, caught a five pounder on a frog. Um, so this rod is definitely sick. And um, I matched that up with the Shimano Canaan 7.2 to one gear ratio. And um, unfortunately, the only thing I have to say negatively about this Canaan is the line capacity. Um, on a big, like a, a spook or something like that, because I use this primarily for my big topwater stuff, uh, yeah. big heavy, like deeper jigs and Texas rigs and Carolina rigs, that kind of stuff. Um, just the line capacity is the only thing negative I have to say about this thing. But as like smooth reeling, smooth casting, it's a great, great reel. I mean, you you definitely can cast really far, oh, yeah. but you just cast a, so much further if you yeah. have enough line. It's a one, it's a one fifty, 
which whatever that means, different real companies like have the numbers, but they're different. Like I was looking at a dial today that, that said 152, but it was, it holds a whole lot more line. So yeah, different real companies have different measurements on how much line capacity they have. Just look at that. That's just, yeah, that's gonna catch something. The other swim jig I got to try out is this, um, just a white swim jig. I'll just put like a white Kitek on it. I just got this, it's a Rydalin swim jig, so I'm hoping, it, I mean, I'm gonna, it's gonna be swimming, stop, if it hits brush, it's gonna shake that, and hopefully the bass will just go crazy for it. But I'm gonna tie that up later. I would tie it up now, I just wanna be Kitex with me, so. This is definitely gonna get thrown real soon. You can throw my eight inch, or my seven inch Kitex. It, it's thicker than the hook. <laughs> the hook would be gone, there's just no way. The next thing I'm tying up though, I don't really have a proper frogging stick. I just make what I have work. I need to get one of the customs though. That thing's sick. Yeah, heavy, a big heavy rod like this, it definitely makes frogging a whole lot easier. What I've been needing is the all white frog. And these Booyah Bitco, their frogs just have such a nice long trailers behind them. Tails, trailers, whatever you want to call it which is nice because they're long, but then if you want to cut them shorter, you can, you have multiple options with them. Frog tied on, I think sick. Shout out Dave's Tournament Tackle and K&J K Fishing uh, Tackle Shop. That place is definitely sick as you guys can probably tell. We didn't even show you half the stuff they had. Just a huge selection. If you're a North Carolina bass fisherman, and um, you want to go look at some really cool tackle? Yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely go check out K and J's tackle. They have more than most like tackle places. Yeah. It's insane. Like out, uh, Gander Outdoors. Like I mean, they Gander Outdoors might have a little bit more rod and reel selection, but K and J's is just s such an awesome lure selection, and it's just a cool place. So yeah, if you are a bass fisherman in North Carolina, check it out for sure. Yeah. And shout out Dave for Dave's Sherman Tackle. Yeah, he made some nice jigs. Heck yeah, he does. All right, and we are going to go give these lures a throw, a little toss and a little dangle. And um, who knows, maybe hook into a big old bass. We'll catch you guys at the water. Peace. High Rock Lake, let's get it. this red bleeding crowd some jig real quick I think I'm gonna throw that Kitek up out of air first All right. big old Kitek let's see what we got going oh yeah you guys can see that right there thing of beauty right there that is a thing of beauty I'll be honest this Kitek swims real nice and this jig head it just bounces right off stuff let me try this trimmer I think this is like a jerk bait to be honest the tail swims so hard this thing is like it's a really good burn and pause bait the when I first got it the person that sold it to me I see some bait popping up over there oh <laughs> let me show you guys on the camera what this looks like right here oh it might be hard to oh yeah, let me get a better angle for you guys. It's like almost like a fluke. With that tail, it's almost like a freaking like jointed swim bait. How it just 
and then you kill it and it just dies off and it's so nice it it goes off to one side and that is definitely a bait i would recommend right now all right guys i'm gonna end the video today really we're just testing out the lures we only had about an hour to fish today but hopefully tomorrow in the next vlog we'll be able to catch some fish for you guys on the new swim jigs and swim baits that we got this has been we fish tv peace